Hey guys, Meet Ronald's Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update on this Sunday to radar first out of the Pacific Northwest. Here's our storm system. This is the uh, first of three, but this is the main storm system of the three. Uh, already pushing rain and snow into Idaho now and also western Montana. Eventually, this whole low with a cold front will rotate down uh, between 1028, 1029, and 1030 and affect the rest of the Intermountain West, Wyoming, Utah, and also Colorado. Let me give you the lay of the land. So here's water vapor satellite imagery. Drier air aloft, oranges and reds. Your moisture's right here in the whites and the blues, and there's our area of low pressure. So the eventual track of this will be roughly like this through Idaho, and then kind of brushing Utah, and then it will roll and kind of straddle Wyoming and Colorado on its way through. So again, that is our main storm system. All right, let's go to my bullet points here for this afternoon. So there's our storm system coming in, and it does affect the rest of the Intermountain West between 1028 and 1030. There are two additional storm systems behind it, but the second one is weaker, and mainly for the northern tier. The third storm continues to shift and oscillate around. This afternoon, the trend is really to dig it and dive further to the south, way down to the southern tier, um, and that'll affect the snowfall and, the, and everything else. I'll show you that coming up. But the best snow appears to arrive in the Wasatch between the afternoon of 1028 through 1029, some snow on 11.1 and 11.3, and the Tetons' best snow 1028, 1029, and again, late 1031 through 11.2. Colorado, late 1028 through 1030, and some additional snow 11.5 and 11.6. All right, let's go right to the uh, jet stream forecast um, the latest one from this afternoon. So here it is. By 11.30 tonight, you can see the dip or the trough moving into the Pacific Northwest. That's our storm system. There it is by Monday. D digs all the way down into parts of the Sierra and Nevada, and then eventually it cruises into Utah and Wyoming, Colorado, and then it exits. There's our next storm system. You can see the jet streak running through the northern tier. That one does mainly affect the northern tier, and I'll show you that on the forecast radar and the satellite but then that one moves on through. But here comes the third storm. Now, look how far south this dives, all the way down through southern California, southern Nevada. This is even further to the south than what we talked about this morning. And then it kind of gets almost cut off right there over the Baja uh, of California and uh, even parts of Mexico. It just kind of gets cut off, and that's a definite change from this morning. So that's going to slow it down. It will slow down. So there's 11.4. Now 11.5, it starts to make its move into um, the Four Corners, Southern Tier, New Mexico, and eventually it may run up towards Colorado on 11.6. All right, let's put some precip on top of this. So here is the, the forecast radar and satellite. And there's our storm system in the Pacific Northwest. Dives down. Now by late 28 to 29, October 29th, here we are in the morning. You've got snow through the Tetons, Wind Rivers, Big Sky, Utah, building into Colorado, especially western slope down into the San Juans. Here we are at 5.30 in the afternoon. With this type of track, it lays down some pretty good snow through Wyoming. Still expecting snow across the mountains of Colorado. In Denver, a brief rain-snow mix with this. The track is not conducive here to anything major for Denver. Um, so a brief rain-snow mix, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning for Denver, and a temperature drop. Probably going to see 20s, 30s by Wednesday morning, Thursday morning in the Denver area. All right, then, uh, so here we are on 10.30 in the morning, still snowing in the mountains of Colorado, and then it begins to move out. Here comes the second storm system, and look at the track. It's weaker, and it's mainly northern tier. So Pacific Northwest, Idaho, parts of Montana, Wyoming, it might brush the Wasatch and the high Uintas with some very light snow on its way through, and then it's gone. Here comes the third storm system, and it goes so far to the south, you almost can't see it. But here it comes by 11.5. Look at everything coming up from the south here. So that's that third storm, which may reemerge towards the four corners, Colorado, New Mexico. And interestingly enough, look at to the north. There's a cold front coming south out of Canada at the same time. So we'll have to wait and see if into 11.6, the two don't get together. The two might merge. Could be. They might merge. All right, here's my latest snow forecast in this afternoon's update. 
So all the rest of today through 1029, this accounts for this first storm system, uh, about three to six inches across the Tetons, Big Sky, Wind River, Hogaden. Uh, probably seven to 10 inches or so. Um, it's still kind of warm, seven to 10 inches uh, for a lot of the Wasatch and the High Uintas, probably six down at Bryan Head. In Colorado, most of the snow accumulation is south of I-70 through the West Elks, Gunnison River Valley, and the San Juans. In the San Juans, we could see 6 to 12 inches of accumulation. Everybody else is pretty light. Some uh, light to moderate snows up there in the parts of B.C. Second time period is 1030 through 11.5, so this accounts for the final two storm systems. Because the, the low track's so far to the south, I cut all the numbers in Colorado. Now, beyond this, into 11.6... Snow could could return to Colorado, and these numbers may go up, but through 11.5, looking at probably 2 to 6 inches in Colorado. And because the low goes further to the south, it actually does cruise right through the Sierra. We could see 2 to 6 inches, maybe 8 inches up on Mount Shasta. Um, some decent numbers through the Pacific Northwest. Oregon um, in the Tetons, looking at probably 6 to 10 inches of snow accumulation. And anywhere in, in pink up in BC is a foot or more. So a lot of the higher peaks in BC will do well out of this. All right, guys, that's the afternoon uh, mountain weather update here on this Sunday. Appreciate you tuning in here. Take care and have a great day.